What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the most OP Pokemon in BDSB Coliseum, which is going to be Skill Link Cloyster. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day, just to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. And while you're over there, ring those notification bells so you know when my videos go live. But like I said, we're using Cloyster today. And Cloyster is one of those Pokemon that if you can set him up correctly, he can just sweep battles and dominate Pokemon left and right. But with that out of the way, let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Cloyster. It is a water and ice type Pokemon, and we gave it the white herb as its item. Ability for this Pokemon is going to be Skill Link, and what Skill Link actually does is it makes multi-hit moves hit the maximum number of times. So moves like Icicle Crash, and, or, or I should say Icicle Spear, and Rock Blast will hit five times every single time, and those are two moves that this Cloyster has on it. Eevee's first Pokemon is fully maxed out in attack and fully maxed out in speed. Move set for this guy is Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, Shell Smash the setup, and Protect. So what I'm planning on doing with this Pokemon is getting him into battle, use Shell Smash, get that attack boost, get the speed boost, and then White Herbal Pop, cancel out the defense drops, and then just roll out from there. At that point, he'll be able to outspeed pretty much every single Pokemon and take out every single Pokemon in one hit with either Icicle Spear or Rock Blast. So cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon, set him up, and dominate the battle. Second Pokemon on the team is going to be Raichu. And Raichu is going to help Cloyster set up because it has fake out control, which is really, really good. So we can make a Pokemon flinch on turn one, set up Shell Smash, and get rolling from there. We also got Nuzzle for Paralyzes, Bolt Switch to Pivot Out, and Brick Break to Break Screens. Ability for this guy is going to be Lightning Rod, and then the item it is holding is going to be that Focus Sash. Next Pokemon is going to be Clefable. We need another support mod to protect that Cloyster, and I feel like Clefable fits that role perfectly. We got Leftovers as item. We got Unaware as its ability, and the moveset is going to be Follow Me, Moon Blast, Calm Mind, and Safeguard. Next Pokemon is going to be another heavy hitter for the team. It is going to be Scissor over here. It's got Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Stance, and Protect. Obviously, Technician is going to be its ability, and then Move, or not Move, Item is going to be the Life Orb for this Pokemon, so it can hit as hard as it possibly can. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Arcanine. If you guys have been watching my BDSP videos, you guys know I absolutely love this Arcanine build right here. I do think it is one of the strongest builds for any Arcanine, considering you can just control the battle left and right with it. It's got a Guava Berry as an item, it's got Intimidate as its ability, and the moveset is Flamethrower, Snarl for special attack drops, Will-O-Wisp for burns on physical attackers, and Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Tyranitar, and I love Tyranitar all around. It's got weather control, it can hit like a truck, it can set up with Dragon Dance, it can really just do anything. It's got Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide for its moveset. Ability is going to be that Sand Stream, and then item for this Pokemon is going to be that Lumberry to take off any status condition oppos opposing opponents want to put on us. But guys, there's the team. Let's hop to the Coliseum. Look to grab some wins with this Cloyster. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a crazy cool team. This guy's rocking Dragonite, Gyarados, Glaceon, Moltres, Scizor, and last but not least, Yes, Torterra. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like going in with Cloyster and Raichu is a pretty solid lead. And only Pokemon I would really have to worry about would be Scizor, right? Scizor seems like a problem. So I'm going to bring Arcanine in just to kind of counteract that. And then last but not least, at least I'm going to bring either Fable or Scizor of my own. Who do I want to bring here? Fable would be nice because I feel like we could just go off with Cloyster in this battle. But again, Scissor's the only problem. Scissor is the only problem and that makes me want to bring Scissor of my own. But at the same time, I still want to bring Fable just so I can try to pull off this combo here. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to rely on Cloyster sweeping out the battle, doing all the big heavy lifting. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's just grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, this match took me 30 minutes to find. 30! Which is wild. Which is absolutely wild. But uh, from here, we are just going to fake out the Glaze Sound because I know Dragonite can learn Inner Focus. But I do think it is going to be multi scaled. But I'm still just going to go for a Shell Smash here. Try to set that up, and I'm just going to go for straight for a fake out, right? Right into Glaze Sound, right? That would definitely be my play. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully, he protects the Dragonite. That would be an awesome play for us. We can just get a free setup. And we kind of roll off from there. I would really like that. I would love that. So let's just see what it does. Or we can swap the uh, Dragonite, knowing that we're an Ice type Pokemon. A lot of different options. A lot of different options. I don't think Glaceon learns inner focus. I know uh, Umbreon does, but he ends up withdrawing the Dragonite, which is huge for us. It's a great play for us. And is he going to go into Scissor? He going into Kind Sir Gyarados, maybe? He's going to Moltres, which I do not mind at all. Gonna have that all day. Fake Out's going to come in here, and I think he thinks we're going for an Ice Titan. 
I'm totally fine. So we're just gonna go for a shell smash here. Um, I could protect. I could definitely protect here. I might protect. I might pr protect and bolt switch into uh, Fable. Or I can just rock blast Glaceon away and bolt switch into Fable at the same time. We can do both of those options, which do sound really, really good for us. I feel like we should do. I think we should definitely do it. I think we just rock blast Glaceon, kill it, and then we just bolt switch out. And then get Fable and then potentially set up for us. I, I do dig that. Like, I could if I wanted to. If I wanted to play it safe, I could just protect Cloyster, Volt switch out, and then have Fable in here and just follow me out and then get Cloyster start attacking. But I feel like at this point, we have speed. We have a lot of control. We can just take out the Glaceon and kind of go from there. So I really do like where we're sitting. I'm not worried about the Moltres. I'm not worried about the, uh, the what's it called on the field either. The Dragonite. But yeah, Rock Blast and Icicle Sphere will hit five times every single time due to skill link ability. And like I said, Cloyster is one of the most OP Pokemon when set up. So let's see what he does here. We're going to end up going for Volt Switch. We outspeed him, which is gorgeous. And we must KO him. That's some big time damage. That is some big time lovely damage. And we're going to go into Fable here. And we're going to hope that he's not going to touch my Cloyster. I really don't want him touching my Cloyster. Just leave my Cloyster alone. Leave my lovely little Cloyster alone. He's gonna go for a burn up. Can I go in the Fable slot? This is my Cloyster slot. Can you eat that? No, my Cloyster. My Cloyster. See, I should have protected. I should have protected. You end up using a burn up. Kind of hurts the soul. But uh, we're just gonna go right back in the Raichu, or I could intimidate. I wonder who his final Pokemon is. I don't even know. I do not even know, but my Cloyster. <laughs> my Cloyster. I really wanted that. He's gonna go into Leafy, who is. for Terra right here. Yo, my Cloyster could have swept. I should have protected them. That could have been a great play for us. But from here, you know, I'm just gonna fake out uh, you, and I might just calm mindset up. Might just be my play. I know that what's called outspeeds. I know that Raichu can outspeed the uh, the bird, so I'm really not too worried about it. I'm really not too worried about the bird. I am worried about the Dragonite in the back end. I am going to be a little worried about the Dragonite. But yeah, I need my, I need to start setting up my fable here if I want to win this. But dude, I should have protected the cloister. I got a little too. Uh, I don't even know what the word is for it. And I was just ready to just to sweep out. But yeah, I should just protect the Cloyster, got the Fable in, and then just follow me shots. He's going to end up Enduring, which is totally fine. It's a waste of a turn, which is awesome. We're going to go for a fake out into the Torterra slot. And we set up a beautiful Combine. Nice, lovely Combine. So I feel like he is going for uh, I feel like he is definitely trying to go for uh, EQs here. And just keep his Moltres in the battle. But yeah, I'm just boosting my special attack and boosting my special defense. I'm going to roll off in there. But uh, from here, I could Volt Switch out. I could Brick Break. I could Nuzzle. Uh, I think I just Volt Switch out. And then I kind of just go straight into a Moon Blast here. Or do I calm mindset up again? I think we just Moon Blast. We just get off as much damage as we can into Torterra. Torterra is more so a defensive bulk, so I feel like Moon Blast could do a nice chunk of damage. Then you go for another Endure. It fails because you cannot use it back to back. And Volt Switch just picks up the easy game. So Volt Switch is going to KO. I am scared of the EQ, but I do have Focus Ash on my Raichu, which is huge. I do have. Oh, never mind. We Free Switch. We are going to go into Arcanine. Arcanine came to play. And I would love to throw a burn on uh, both of these guys. Dragonite and Torterra. But I feel like Fable's going to have to be a clutch Pokemon. We're going to Intimidate here, which is big. It's onto a physical attacker. And he is going to drop the EQ. So EQ is coming in hot. He should be able to soak this up Arcanine, right? Oh yeah, Arcanine soaks up really well. Really, really well. I love it. I love it. Moon Blast going to fly. Uh, eat, send it, and do a good chunk of damage. A great chunk of damage, and we have leftovers on our favorite, which is huge. So, we're gonna recover some HP. I could flamethrower it and take out the uh, the Torterra, which I might do instead of just burning the instead of burning the the Dragonite. I might just go into a flamethrower, finish off the Torterra, and just start moon blasting away out the Dragonite. That seems like the play. But I feel like we have a lot of speed up against a lot of these Pokemon, so I'm just gonna flamethrower away, drop a little moon blast. And battle number one's looking good, battle number one is looking good, but if I protected the Cloyster. We would have just swept the battle. It would have been perfect because all these Pokemon would have been weak to either Cloyster's Rock move or Cloyster's Ice move. Like it was Moltres, which we could have just taken out with a rock. Glaceon was super effective with a rock. And then Torterra and Dragonite over here are both four times weak to ice. So that would have just been just no problem. But Flamethrower pokes through here. We say bye-bye to Torterra. Dragonite probably outspeeds my Fable, but Fable can soak up whatever shot he has to offer. And that's going to be pretty much game. He might be able ooh, Hyper Beam is kind of scaring me. That move is kind of scaring me. Can I take out my Fable? Yeah, no, no shot. Fable's just soaking all day. Fable's soaking all day. Moonblast might not be able to take him out if he is multi-scale, but yeah. 
but still we do a nice chunk of damage and he is out for the next turn considering he just used hyper beam which did like no damage yo my fable is an absolute bulk this thing bulks and this guy turns off his switch we love it battle number one goes to us and we get started off strong here awesome way to get this video started by making our last opponent turn off his switch but we're hopping into the second battle we found another opponent rather quick which is a blessing to be honest with you guys because the first battle i waited about a half an hour to find the opponent that's like the only downfall of the bdsp but this guy's got a pretty cool team he's rocking garchomp he's rocking uh tangrowth he has sableye and then he's also has aerodactyl azumarill and Infer. so i feel like he's going to lead uh the sableye i could go cloister and i could go Raju again try to set that up i think that is a pretty good play or i could just go fable here i could go fable and potentially just follow me and set up cloister that way which i kind of like I kind of do like that. So you know what? I am going to do that. Unless he goes Garchomp and he just like starts EQ. Oops. He does have Rock Slide as well. Ooh, that could be scary. That could be scary with the uh, Aerodactyl. Do I still go for this? I think I still got to go for this. Let's do it. Let's go Raichu. Let's go Cloyster. Let's try to set it up. Let's try to set it up. We'll bring Scizor in the back end. And then last but not least, I feel like Arcanine could be pretty solid here. Arcanine or T-Tar? T-Tar's not too bad here either. I think T-Tar gets a lot of value. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? Where I cook a Fable? Nah, I feel like we need more attack power here. So I am going to end up going uh, T-Tar here. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here and go back to back here. I really want to set up Cloyster so bad. I really want to set him up so bad here. Let's see if he goes. He got saved by Garchomp, but that's a little tough for us. That is a little tough for us. He might even hard swap the... Uh... He might hard swap the uh, Garchomp. He could definitely hard swap the Garchomp. I am just going to go into a Shell Smash here. And do I just nuzzle the Sableye here and predict him maybe either swapping or protecting the Garchomp? Right, I feel like that's what he's going to do. I feel like he has to either swap or protect the Garchomp. He's going to fake me out and he's not swapping. Oh, that hurts the soul here. I'm going to nuzzle this thingy. I really want to set up the Shell Smash. So I wonder what he's going to go into here. We do paralyze it, which is huge. Then we're going to get rolling from here. You know, he's going to just drop a straight EQ. That hurts, man. That hurts. Now I can't set up a Shell Smash. Um, what do I do here? I'm just show he's orbed. Um, hmm. Hmm. I could protect and Volt Switch out. Get in. Garchomp's tough news. Garchomp is tough. But who's faster? I've had my Coyster maxed out on speed. And it is jolly, but it's definitely not faster than the Garchomp, which sucks. And I can't slow it down. Huh. What does Jeans want to do here? Tough battle for Jeans right here. Good brick break. Uh, go straight into him. I don't know what to do here. I do not know what to do here. This is a tough one. I think I'm going to need my fake out. So, you know what? I'm just going to full switch out of here. And what did I do with the Koizer? Did I protect him? The Witchroll's Garchomp. I don't even know what I went into. What did I go into? I'm going to go in the... What that? What did I go in with Koizer? I protected Koizer. That hurts. Wish I would have shell smashed at this point. <laughs> I wish I would sell smash. He's gonna recover the save by okay, so he has to fake out ready to roll. And I don't know what he's gonna do here. Hmm. I do get the volt switch, which is gorgeous. I can go into uh that's some big damage. Get a crit. But I volt switch out, I'll get my fake out later in the match, which is huge. And I could go into T Tar here. Or I could just go straight into Scissor. But nah, T Tar would definitely apply. I'm gonna go to T Tar here and I could shell smash it. I'm gonna have to fake out one of those. There's shell smash and dragon dance. I feel like we have to, right? Shell smash and dragon. It sounds cool, doesn't it? The Infernape could fake out, which I think he's going to do. Or he can go for a close combat and take out my team. Huh. I feel like I have to drag. I feel like I have to dragon dance and shell smash. I think that is just my best bet, right? Get some speed. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. He's, he's got to be going for the fake out, right? I don't know, this guy is kind of unpredictable with the Garchomp in on turn 1 last time. I'm surprised he swapped the Garchomp that turn. That kind of gave us a chance at this battle. Let's see what he ends up going into. There's the Fake Out into my Cloyster. That's why we're setting up a D-Dance here. And he, it's going to straight up trick me, but it does not affect my lovely T-Tar because I am a Dark type. Awesome, so Dragon Dance is going to come out here. Bang. We got Dragon Dance set up. I uh, really like where we're sitting now. So I'm really hoping that this Rock Slide can take out this Inferno. And then I can set up a Shell Smash. Could be good. Could be good. Unless he quashes me and goes into a close combat. That could definitely be one of those plays. Hmm. 
Here's options. But yeah, Shell Smash, 100% to play. Let's go straight into a Rock Slide. I think the Rock Slide should be able to take out the Infernate. See what he does with Sableye. Because Sableye is actually one of the most annoying Pokemon to play up against. It is so good. It's such a good support Pokemon. It really is. It's top tier. It is top tier. This is a solid battle. I think he had it on lock if he didn't swap that Garchomp. He's going to recover the Sableye. I'm, I'm cool with that all day. I don't mind that one bit. I don't mind that one bit because I still feel like this Rock Slide can KO here. He outspeeds me. He's going to take me out with power. Oh, no. We eat power up punch. That's awesome. That's amazing. He outspeeds me? The quick Inferno. Because I'm plus one on after Dragon Dance. If we go into that, that is huge. I am going to Shell Smash up. Which is enormous. And now I can pretty much... Did I just win this battle, right? I mean, I have a slight chance, right? I have a really good chance at winning this battle. We got Shell Smash up. Cloyster outspeeds everything at this point. And can one more Buffet take out that Infernape? Because if it does, I might just uh, double protect and have it out. Let's see what, how, how this one plays out here. What's Infernape on? Infernape's low. He's real low. Can one more Buffet take it out? It can. One more Buffet will take that out. So I'm thinking of just double protecting here, right? Now the Buffet's hit me up, take speed from this guy, and just kind of blow off from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. He's going to go Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's coming out of here. And who's my final Pokemon in the back end? It is, oh, I still have Scissor, and I have Raichu on one HP, so that's big. So yeah, I feel like play is definitely going to be... Hmm. Do I just take out the Aerodactyl here with Icicle Spear? I could, but I think Double Protect's going to be a play. I just think we Double Protect him and get rid of him for an 8th dude Buffets. Force out the Garchomp, kind of make a play from there. I'm all about it. But yeah, dude, I thought this guy had this match on lock. Wait, without that Garchomp? Because once he swapped that Garchomp, it kind of gave me a chance. And I used that chance to actually go into a Shell Smash and a Dragon Dance, force one of my Pokemon to get powered up and bulked up. And it worked out perfectly because now we have the T-Tar doing some big damage. And then we got a shot with a uh, Oyster to actually roll in here and get up some, uh, get a Shell Smash off, which was huge. So we buff it out. Cloyster goes down to 20 HP. He can survive another buff it, which is good. And I think the buffets are going to end by then. But we use the buffets to take out Infernape. We play it smart. We play it slow. And now he's forced to pull out Garchomp here. And I feel like I just take out Aerodactyl, right? I feel like Garchomp can definitely protect. Definitely an option from him. It's definitely an option. And then from there, I mean, if he picks up the double KO here after Aerodactyl goes down, we can just uh, bring out Raichu and Scissor Sword Dance fake out and kind of walk. Which I really like. So I'm just going to go into Icicle Spear. I'm going to go with Crunch because I know Icicle Spear will actually pick up the KO. And he doesn't protect the uh, Garchomp. I'm going to say bye bye to Aerodactyl. How much damage that does. That hits five times, guys. That's why I'm saying Cloyster is OP. It is such a strong Pokemon. And Titar might be able to outspeed. Let's see. Can he Titar? He does. Titar does outspeed. Not going to KO, but that's some big damage. And we're going to actually get that defense drop. But that's GG. Set his game, set and match. He's going to rough skin me down to 10 HP. He's going to drop an EQ. He's going to pick up a double kill. But it's all good. We still have Scissor in the back end with Technician and Bullet Punch. And we have Raichu ready to go with the big out. So that's going to be GG's. 2 and 0 for today's video. We're feeling good. We're feeling real good today. We're feeling real good. But yeah, I'm still surprised that dude swapped the guard time. Because I was trying to figure out ways that I can actually like get around this guy. Because he had a really strong start onto us. With the EQ onto the... Uh, Oyster and all that good stuff. But once he swapped, I was just like, oh, yo, we are definitely taking advantage of this. That's exactly what we did. That is exactly what we did. Because we need to get that uh, Raichu out. That was our plan, was to get the Raichu out, use him for fake out later, but since he popped the Garchomp, it was just like smooth sailing from there. It gave us a little opening window to get some work done. That's exactly what we did. But I'm going to fake out. I'm going to bullet punch. He's probably going to cancel the battle, right? He does not cancel the battle. He goes for a protect. Yeah, you lost the game. Why are you protecting? There's no point. There is no point. There's no point. You were just like slowing your death. You were just slowing your loss. You lose regardless. You can't even take out my scissor in one shot. Even with a crit, I don't even think he can take out scissor in one shot. Unless he has like some type of coverage fire move. And of course I went for fake out again for some reason with Raichu. But it's all good. Scissor is just gonna roll out here with bull punch. It's gonna be GG's. No problem whatsoever. Bull punch flies. There's plenty enough damage to take that thing out. We go 2-0 for today's video.
going up against the same opponent for the third and final battle he is rocking the same team let's go into a different lead here and try to grab ourselves a perfect breaker but like i said same team i think he is going to either lead the save light or the infernate just to get fake out control and kind of roll off from there i could go intimidate considering he has a lot of physical attackers and i think that is going to be my play just rolling the arcanine potentially will with some of these physical attackers and kind of go from there i'm definitely with that so i'm gonna go arcanine here i could go scissor but again if he leads infernate that could be tough i could go titar I could definitely go with T-Tar, or I can just go Cloyster on its own. Lovely little Cloyster. I do love Beast of Cloyster action. Cloyster's just an absolute beast. But again, he kind of gets teed off on by Lattice Pokemon, which makes me not want to bring him. I could go Fable, kind of set maybe do some Follow Me's, kind of get some Moonblast. I kind of dig that, so I'm going to go Fable. I'm going to bring Scissor, and I'm going to bring T-Tar in the back end. So Cloyster, I got to showcase you in battle number one. I got to showcase you in battle number two. You're not coming in here battle number three. But like I said, same opponent. Let's give him another whooping. Let's slap him up a little bit. Let's slap him up a little bit, but first battle is pretty close. It was definitely a close battle. He's going to go Infernape. He's going to go double fake out users, to be honest. Double fake out users with Infernape and Sable, which isn't too bad for us. I mean, I do unaware, which isn't bad, but Intimidate's going to do us really good on two physical attackers. What do I even do from here with Arcanine? I could just flame throw this thing down. And I kind of just want to go for a Moonblast. Or, you know, I'll try to go for a Calm Mind if I can. If I go for a Calm Mind, that might be a play. I get the setup, that would be beautiful. So, fake out one's gonna come out here. Again, I think he double fakes out, right? That was a given. That was a given. I probably should just protect it. I probably should just protect it, but I'm gonna get the HP back on the fable. That, that double fake out turn just really, really does nothing. It's nothing too serious, nothing too big. I'm cool with it. So, uh, Flamethrower's gonna poke out here. And I'm just gonna try to set up a combine here. I know the Sableye has a uh, recover, so I gotta watch out for him recovering HP. But I feel like once I get off this combine, I kinda just thrive out with it. So the is gonna go for that trick. Are you taking my leftovers? Don't you take my leftovers. Leave me alone. Don't take my leftovers. I want my leftovers. Oh, you gave it to Arcanine. Gets my Aguat Berry. How dare he take my Aguat Berry? He goes for a power-up punch. He's gonna boost that attack. And that's kind of fine. I get off a free Calm Mind. Nice. The Calm Mind out and about. Raise our special defense. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here now? What do I want to do? I have Arcanine with Iron Ball, which kind of sucks. It, it, it could be worse. Can we chip up some damage on Sableye? About bringing the half. I could honestly just take it out, but I kind of want to get it after this. Right? I think I should just protect this thing and just Moonblast straight into Inferno. See how much damage we can do. But probably should double down into it, because I don't think one Moonblast can take it. Plus one. I do not think it can do enough damage. Let's see, I'm just going to protect my Arky Arc. I might actually hard swap him out next turn. Just so I can have Intimidate in the back end. Works really well. And Sableye is going to disable my what? My Calm Mind or my, my Moonblast? My Calm Mind. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go for another Power Up Punch. We block it. And I don't can you disable two moves? That will be awful. That's fine. We're going for a Moonblast. So Moonblast is going to fly here. Build, chip up some mean damage. Some mean damage. We love it. And then from here, you know, I'm just going to Flamethrower. And I'm just going to go into another Moonblast, because I would rather get Infernape off this field. Actually, Infernape's even on the attack board, because we intimidated it. So that's actually really good for us. So he's not plus one, he's even. But I'm curious if you can actually uh, disable two moves. Because if I have a Sableye right here, I would disable Moonblast right here, right now. No, he withdraws Infernape. Who are you going to go into? Who are you going into that's going to take this Moonblast? Aerodactyl. Dactyl that is full of air. It's gonna unnerve me. So no berries. He's actually not allowed to eat the Agua Berry. And yeah, you cannot double disable. Learn your Pokemon. Learn your game. Moonblast flies through here. We're chipping up some big damage. And Flamethrower's gonna fly here. Chip up some more damage on the Sableye. So I feel like Sableye's probably gonna recover here. And don't... Is it unnerve out on the field? I am so confused. Didn't unnerve just come out on the field? I guess it doesn't work for Alley Pokemon in this game. But I think it's Sword and Shield it. Uh, Alley Pokemon. It doesn't work with them. But I'm just going to Flamethrower to Aerodactyl, even though it's not going to kill. Actually, should I swap my Arcanine here? It'll be a solid turn to swap the Arcanine. I'm going to Scissor. Yeah, I'm going to go into Scissor here. I'm just going to Moonblast and get rid of this pesky support Sableye. So yeah, I'm swapping the Arcanine. I'm saving my Intimidate for later. And we're going to roll off from there. So Scissor, let's go, baby. Let's get it, because I feel like he's got to drop rocks or something. He tries disabling me again. You can only do it once. Iron Head's going to fly. We'll soak that up all day. And we'll be able to take out Sableye, no problem. He gets a crit, too. What is this game? 
Boom Blast Five Series. Clefable does some work, man. I love Clefable. Really good support, and then once you get Combine set up, it can hit like a truck as well. So, leftovers are gonna poke here. I could, uh, what could I do here? So I feel like we can eat up another Iron Head as long as he doesn't get a crit. But he's definitely gonna go back in the Inferno here just so I can fake out control him. But if he doesn't, I just drop a nice little, uh, bullet punch in the Aerodactyl. But again, he does go into Inferno. Just go into Inferno, and I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect, and I am going to try to get rid of him. So I'm not worried about the Aerodactyl, especially because I can just punch it and take it out. Yeah, I'm loving this team so far. There's a bunch of cool Pokemon on it. You got the Cloyster, you got the Fable, who I don't really use the Fable too much every here and there. I, I do use it because Tokus kind of overpowers it. But I feel like Fable is just better support all around. That's how I want to use it on this team was because I, I need to protect the Cloyster. So we read that fake out coming into the uh, Scissor. Is he going for another Iron Head? He is. We should be able to soak this up without a crit. Correct. Awesome. Gene's calculations were correct. And of course he gets Splinch, which kind of hurts the soul, but it'd be like that to me. It be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. It kind of hurts soul. But from here, I don't mind if my scissor goes down here if we take out Aerodactyl. And I'm going to go after him for me. I'm going to hope he doesn't protect the Aerodactyl. Protecting the Aerodactyl would do me dirty. I should have hard swapped though into, uh, into what's his name. I should have hard swapped into Arcanine and predict maybe a protect coming out from Aerodactyl or swap from Aerodactyl. I feel like he has to know that the bull punch is coming in here. But if he stays in here and doesn't protect or anything, my scissor will take out the Aerodactyl. I feel like the Infernape will come across with a fire move and kill my scissor. And then my Fable takes out the Infernape and turns it into a 3v1. Which I think is going to happen right here. So bull punch flies. We get rid of Aerodactyl. I'm guessing fire punch or flare blitz is coming in hot here, right? Is that correct? Into the scissor. Let's see what's happening here. He's gonna go for the fire punch. Yep, there it is. Scissor drops out. I'm fine with that. And then Moon Blast will be able to take out this Infernape. Turning this game into a 3v1 situation, which I'm totally fine with. Pretty much GG's. Pretty much GG's, but I don't think I... Yeah, I don't know his last Pokemon. I do not know his last Pokemon, but I can guess it being the Zoomerel. I could guess it to be the Zoomerel. Or it could be the... Uh, what other Pokemon do you think? I don't even know, but Arcanine would be the smart play to go into. So I'm just going to roll into Arcanine here. And he's going to throw out Garchomp. And I already get off an Intimidate on this thing. A lovely little Intimidate. So what I think I should do here is just throw a will o -Wisp on it. Just play it safe. We know he... We already know what he's going to do. We already know he's going for the eat. Arcanine could definitely eat up. Fable cannot. But it's totally fine because I can get off this burn and have to come coming here. Yep, there's Arcanine eating it up. will o -Wisp, as long as we land this, that should be GG's. And my T-Tar can definitely win a 1v1 up against this lovely Garchomp. will o -Wisp comes through, and it does connect. Beautiful. Jeans is playing solid. I'm playing real good today, guys. I'm playing real good. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Hit that like button if you guys are. But yeah, burn onto the Chomp. Bring out the T-Tar. That thing is minus one, and he's also burned at this point. And I can bring out the Tatar. The T-Tar. One of my favorite Pokemon. I think this Pokemon's design is incredible. Like, look at this thing. Looks so sick. Looks so sick. Giant spiky rock Pokemon. That's that's what I'm gonna start calling him. Giant spiky rock monster. <laughs> but from here, I'll just throw a flamethrower, chip up as much damage as I can, and I could D-dance, but I feel like two crunches should be able to do enough damage. Well, there goes the EQ. Detar should be able to soak. Oh, was that a crit? Why did it do so much damage? I think we lost. Was that a crit? Yep. We're gonna lose to a crit. That is just dandy, isn't it? It's just beautiful that we lose some crit. Unless we get a crit. Unless we get a crit. Crunch gonna fly here. That hurts, man. We're gonna lose to a critical hit. Rough skin Garchomp. Mmm. Burn's gonna chip. And yeah, dude, we lost this battle all day. That hurts, man. We lose to a crit, man. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. I guess I'll go for a crunch. But yeah, we're going to lose to a critical hit. Because we were definitely being able to eat up two EQs. We were definitely able to eat up two EQs. He was burned. He was physical attack dropped to the Intimidate. Oh, I spoke too soon with the 3-0 record. But hey, we'll take 2-1 and one, and we'll lose to some RNG in battle number 3. Glad we got the showcase Cloyster in today's video. Going 2-1 and one and grabbing ourselves a winning record. Battle number 1 and battle number 2. We got off Shell Smash on the Cloyster. Doing some crazy damage with Rock Blast and Ice Circle Spear. And then that third and final battle was just solid all around. But we lost to a critical hit. 
from the Garchomp, which is definitely very upsetting. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.